Hello, my name is Eric Swenson. I'm a user experience designer. And in today's session, we're going to be going uh, over how to use Sketch and the basic controls of using Sketch. Um, so you can follow me on my blog, on Twitter, or on YouTube. Um, so let's just get started. So Sketch is a uh, design tool that a lot of designers use for either pretty high fidelity mockups or uh, wireframes. It's a very simple tool that can then get exported into other applications such as Zeppelin. Um, but in today's uh, session, we're really just going to go over the core elements. Um, and in other tutorials, I'll get into how to really create some dynamic um, and really compelling designs within Sketch. So overall, uh, Sketch has a very minimalistic sort of um, tool, uh, like toolbars. So you've got your main um, information at the top, which is just your settings, like your files and edits, and pretty much standard to any application. A lot of the information within these dropdowns are also available when you go to right click. So things like copy, paste, um, moving layers up and down, um, all those sort of things are all also available at the top. Um, or you could also use quick keys. Um, the main thing that you're going to be interacting with is really the uh, this insert uh, component. So uh, within any page in uh, Sketch, you'll be able to uh, insert what's called an artboard. And an artboard is really kind of like your page. So if you wanted to create an uh, additional artboard here, what you do is you go to uh, insert and then artboard and it gives you an option on the right sort of you, these predefined sizes um, you can choose between these different sizes so maybe you wanted to create an iPhone X and uh, instantly it'll create with the exact specifications for that device um, alternatively you can actually just go and insert uh, artboard by just dragging to whatever size that you want um, you can adjust the sizes over here, or you can resize it from here. So once you have your artboard, um, really that's your canvas and what you're going to be designing against. Um, you can just, at this point, start designing. Um, so you can either import an image and draw over it, uh, which I do a lot, or you just start freeforming to uh, start your design. Um, Another th nice thing with Sketch is it's all vector based. So everything has, um, you know, you can insert um, vector based drawing tool elements, um, which are really nice. So here you can have a line drawing, you can um, change the thickness of the lines, and it'll all output as a vector based. So no matter the scale or size that you uh, increase it or decrease it, it's all going to come out looking great. The other thing that you can do is import in vector-based items. So if I wanted to bring in this uh, search icon, I could just drag and drop it in there. And directly from in there, I can resize it. So I'll just click on it, resize it. Um, and it'll actually bring in um, the different paths and layers. So if you go to uh, import in uh, EPS or some of those uh, SVG, you'll be able to kind of get those uh, paths directly within Sketch. Um, so then I can kind of change the fill color, um, and it, it all comes in uh, just nice. So the other thing you can do is um, if you wanted to select a variety of different um, elements, and then you can then create those into what's called a uh, stencil. Um, so if I selected these, and then symbol, sorry, you can create a symbol. So let's say this is header. Now, if I go on to um, create a new page, let's say I uh, duplicate this one, and then I want to take one of those symbols which is something that um, it's kind of like a master component. Um, that I can simply just drag that over. 
So I can either take one from existing or I can insert um, a symbol directly from here so that if I did go into the symbols and make a change, maybe this turns into green or something, and I go back to my pages, you'll notice that it's uh, duplicated uh, across all of those. So those are kind of like the, the core components to sketch is just drawing symbols or drawing shapes. Um, and again, it's very high quality, so you can kind of get right in there through the, the pixel level. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a super easy tool to use. Um, the other thing that it allows you to do is really have uh, a lot of control over your fonts. Um, so if I were to, let's see. And come in here, I can easily change the fonts in here. Uh, so it gives you a lot of flexibility to, you know, all the different font types and weights and um, character spacing, line spacing. Um, you have a lot of around opacity. Everything's kind of all right here for you. Um, the other big component is how are you going to share this with other people? So within uh, Sketch, you can make these things exportable. So I can export it as a PNG, J, uh, JPEG, uh, PDF, SVG, a lot of different output types. You can even increase the sizing in case you need to create it as like a poster or something. Um, but overall, pretty easy application to use. and. Um, there are some limitations when, you know, like in Axure, you're able to kind of create connected lines to boxes and if you're doing flow diagrams, but really Sketch is meant as like a very quick design tool just to kind of get an idea out there or um, it can get to a point where you're doing very complex designs, which it still handles pretty well. Um, but overall, that's uh, Sketch in a nutshell. Um, and oh, I forgot one other thing. So within plugins, you can export to Zeppelin or to Envision, and that allows you to also share out your designs and to either the development team or to other people that you're um, at wanting to view the, uh, the design. So um, that concludes this session.